Hello, it's Thursday and that is time for a When Calls the Heart inspired recipe. So stay tuned because I'm in the kitchen with Gustav and his new menu. Since you're here, click the button and subscribe and click the bell and the word all for notifications. Business is booming at the Queen of Hearts, so I'm told, and uh, Gustav is trying out some new items for his menu, and he lost his taste tester. So if you just stick with me here, and I show you how to make the recipe, and when we come to the back, we'll have a chat about who his new taste tester is, you might be surprised. By the way, what's on the menu here tonight? chestnut soup it's so easy i know i always say this but i'm telling you it is so easy and it's different i was surprised i never had chestnut soup before but i actually like it can you see just a little bit of it so stay tuned watch as we make it and then i will tell you all about gustav's new taste tester i think you're going to be surprised for this recipe you will need one medium onion chopped two teaspoons of olive oil, two cups of chicken stock or vegetable broth, one pound of already prepared chestnuts, two cups of cream, one tablespoon of butter, and a pinch of nutmeg. Next, you will take the onion and saute it in olive oil for about four minutes, add salt and pepper to taste, then add the stock and the prepared chestnuts, stir occasionally, and allow it to simmer for about 30 minutes. Then you can add it to a food processor or use an immersion blender to blend it until it is smooth, put it back in the pot, add the cream, and allow it to heat for another 15 minutes. Then prepare about eight chestnuts and a tablespoon of butter, saute them, and use them as garnish. It looks simple and it is but i have to tell you it's y u m yum okay so i was correct right it's so easy it's not very thick but it is creamy it is not sweet i thought it was going to be sweet i have to tell you the um one part that I absolutely love is when you toast or actually you fry and butter some of the chestnuts and they get toasty, crunchy on the outside and then they're soft and yummy on the inside. They do sink to the bottom of the soup, but like I have one right here. They add this whole other texture and they are delicious, delicious. The whole thing is delicious. I'm gonna sample it right now. Oh my goodness it's just a mild and simple flavor it's so good okay so so lucas and elizabeth they have been just so involved with each other they only have eyes for each other and then when they're at work they're so consumed with their work for instance elizabeth's having a little bit of trouble because of the whole you know hope valley being part of the valley regional school district and there's some problems there and she's trying to overcome them and she's also very involved with teaching angela how to read and then of course there's the rest of her students and then we have lucas who now has two businesses that are thriving. So Gustav is feeling a tiny bit neglected because his number one taste tester was Lucas. So Gustav, he does his best work when Hope Valley is dark and quiet. So you happen to be working in the kitchen, making a new soup and trying out some different uh, recipes. And he saw who he thought was Nathan skulking around. And when he sees Nathan, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he sees him with a, a soul patch and a hat and a wig and he's like come in have a beer talk to me so in comes Nathan or is it Nathan is it his alter ego is it a cousin is he I don't know undercover we're not sure but the whole point is Nathan sat down and chatted, or whoever Nathan this character is, sat down and chatted with Gustav and Gustav's like you know what, are you hungry? Let me, let me try out some recipes on you. And we find out that this Nathan has a wonderful palate. He likes simple things, but they are classic and delicious, just like Nathan, classic and delicious. So anyway, 
this is how they came up with the whole chestnut soup and they put it on the menu. And then ever since then, those two bond it and every night Nathan sneaks in and he samples some more of the recipe. So you go, Nathan. Thank you. Okay, try the recipe. It's not difficult. It's just in time for the holidays and you have a good one. Good night.